Hey, welcome everybody to the Levi Spade Show. Thank you for watching this video. This week's video is on GPK, Graphics Packaging Holdings Company. And paper boxes are here. Everyone is looking to be more eco-friendly and this is one of those ways. Graphics Packaging works with a lot of other companies to create paper boxes, packaging material for other products for other companies. I can only imagine now that online retail locations are shipping boxes and products to customers that more paper products are being needed to transport all these products to customers doorsteps. GPK is in the materials sector and it is a different one from say the tech sector, the energy sector, or the real estate. This is a sector of the market that doesn't see a lot of growth. GPK I think is one of those that is going to rise above everyone else. You can see here from the charts that their stock price over the last year has really risen in comparison to the past years. So here's a chart from TradingView and you can see that I've set some levels here as to where the stock price is at. I think this is a good time as any to get into this stock if you're looking for a stock in the materials sector. Here also in the Webull app I found some other stocks that are in the materials sector especially in the containers and packaging industry. So these are ticker symbols that you could take a look at yourself and compare with GPK and see if it's one that stacks up. You can see from their most recent investors presentation that they have some plans for 2025 on how to grow the business and really bolster revenue. You can see here that revenue has risen over the years but net income has kind of bounced up and down. What is encouraging to see is that the cash flow is pretty good. I think one of the main drivers that is really driving the stock price higher here is the push for online e-commerce. Many, many businesses and retailers are pushing their sales to online, which equates to the product having been shipped to the customer's doorstep instead of the customer buying it from their brick and mortar retail stores. Companies are then forced to find solutions that are eco-friendly and cost effective to get the product to the customer. We're not talking just domestic, we're also talking international in many other countries. GPK, Graphic Packaging's Holdings Company, is big in Europe as well and does a lot of the distribution there and manufactures all these products for packaging. They do have a lot of their manufacturing in here in the U.S., but they also have some in Europe as well. GPK is not a stock that you see in the news headlines very often and that's just because it's a materials related stock. It's not too popular of a stock kind of like Facebook or Tesla that's in the news every other day. But this is a stock that does return a little bit each year on a steady basis. This may be one to put in your portfolio and leave there for years to come and will slowly gain in value. If you've noticed, I've been including Webull charts here as I've been showing this video. The Webull app has helped me out a lot in my fundamental research for companies. The charts are very illustrative and quickly helps me understand the health of a business. Check out the link below and you'll be able to receive a free stock when you sign up with Webull. You'll also be able to receive a free stock when you deposit $100 or more into your account. GPK is a small cap stock. Again, they are in the materials, packaging, and containers industry. Their 52-week range was about $13 all the way up to $19.75. They're currently at about $5.5 billion in market cap. Their EPS is around 84 cents and their PE ratio is sitting at 21. What I also found interesting was that their percentage held by institutions is 98%, really high. I think this is partly why the stock price doesn't move that quickly. 
it's always interesting to look at the street rating and see how they measured this stock. Way at the bottom of their report, they have some price ratios for the stock. They have some very high marks that they gave this stock. So I'm gives me some enthusiasm for getting into this stock and having it part of my portfolio in the materials sector. This is far from the tech volatile stocks. This is a stock GPK that it has low volatility. You aren't going to see big swings up and down with this stock. As a savvy investor, I'm going to do some more research with GPK. One of the things I want to look at is how much of the packaging right now globally is being created with plastics or other materials versus paper boxes or packaging. How much of that is being converted? Obviously, a lot of companies around the world are wanting to be more environmentally friendly and use paper products that can be easily recycled. This is good for the environment overall. Let me know what you guys think. If you know something in this area, this industry, uh, leave a comment below and I'd love to chat and start a conversation. I read all the comments in my videos. What's interesting to find out is the partnership of GPK with International Paper. If you look closely at the box that I showed up close, it was made by International Paper here in Minnesota. Obviously, when two companies are able to partner together, then business can really improve. So we'll have to see here in the months to come if this really materializes. Hope you guys stay cool, level-headed, savvy investors resist that temptation to always hit the sell button make sure to practice long-term investing swing trading at least make sure to see some good gains with your positions before you just sell a stock remember investing is buying into a business and you're not just going to buy and sell a business on a whim make sure that you've done the research and make sure that you've practiced some patience make sure you're not making an emotional decision before selling remember you're able to capture some of those larger gains the longer you hold on to a stock well this week's video is a little shorter than other weeks but I uh, hope you guys take a look at it. Look at the materials sector. Some of the other stocks have done really well, better than the tech stocks here in 2021. Just realize that markets do change, and so you're going to be forced to look in other areas of the market when other sectors take a breather and have their pullbacks. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video, even if it was a little shorter. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Catch you later.